Hi guys, welcome to Light Me Studio. Today in our first tutorial, I want to show you how to light up your scene using Vera Sky and Vera Sun. So this is our scene, and the first thing to do is to create the render setup. So the render setup will be the, uh, a test render setup because we want to test our render several times. So it's uh, it will be fine if we speed our render. So I will go to the V-Ray, global switch. I will disable the displacement and I will check the V-Ray materials. And I will create a V-Ray standard material, like you see. And I will put it in the override material slot, like an instance. Then we will go to image sampler. I will I use bucket. And into bucket MS sample, I use 1 and the minimum and 8 and the maximum subdivision. And the furnace threshold, I use 0.01. And the GI, I use radius map like primary engine and light cache in the secondary engine. For the radius map, I use the, the best quality is the very low. And in the light cache, I use 500. So I go top view. And I will create a V-Ray cam. This is our V-Ray cam. I I hit C and I go. And for the focal lines is when you control the zoom so 35 is good for me I will select the target and I will back to camera I check the auto guess vertical titles and I disable the vignetting and for the white balance I use D65 because it's, the, it's good for the light system and the first shot speed I will, list, I will let it on 200 right now so I will go to the top view and I will create a very sun I will hide it a little bit in order to get nice shadow. Is it? Oh. Oh, the right. Something like that. And I will back to the camera and the rendering slot. I go to environment and I will create a very sky and like an instant in the material editor slot and I will specify a sun mode they will check the sunlight they will combine between the very sky and the very sun because it's every time I place my very sun and will change his position the very sky change his color and change his intensity so we really need to combine this with those two and after that I will start a render test. And this is the final render for the test. So, uh, for the very sun, and if I there is two important parameters, we have the intensity multiplier. It's by default one. I don't change it. In my case, I don't change the intensity multiplier. I just let it on one. But for the size multiplier, I can change it. It depend if it depend 
on the shadow so if you just increase the stage multiplier uh, about five like example you will see how the shadow become blue so if we want to get a nice and a strong shadow maybe it's good to use one in the size multiplier so like you see in the test render if I want to get more light I, I will go to the camera and I will go to the F number for the F number I have 8 actually in the real life the most camera have a I have eight and the F number, so it's it's it will be good to not change it. But we can change the shutter speed. So for the shutter speed, when we decrease the shutter speed, we have we get more light. But when we increase it, we get less light. So if I use like example, I see, and I render this region, you will see what happen. Our scene become too much bright and this is not good for very uh, for render so I will decrease it for 180 and so will and it will give a good render And this is the final render and like you see we have a good lighted scene in the daylight system you can find those the scene in the description below you can download it uh, please like my video and share it and subscribe to my channel YouTube thank you for watching see you in the next tutorial